most people will recognize this iconic music from the Pirates of the Caribbean. What's probably not as recognizable is the name of the piano it's being played on. Well, that's about to change. We're trying to build the very best quality piano in the world. Kirk Burgett is president of Mason and Hamlin Piano Company. And inside this old shoe factory in Haverhill, Mason and Hamlin is turning back the hands of time, stringing new life into this iconic centuries old company. We use flat cut sawn maple. In 1996, Kirk and his brother bought Mason and Hamlin out of bankruptcy court. Back then, there was practically nothing left of the company that was first started by Henry Mason and Emmons Hamlin back in the 1900s. Kirk's goal was to return this piano manufacturer back to its glory days. But he admits it wasn't easy. It took like one year to produce one piano. So it took a little bit of effort, and then you had to get the production going. The effort paid off, and now they have at least 50 pianos in production at any given time. We're back ordered for almost six months uh, in back orders. So it's been very, very, we've been very fortunate. In all of the U.S., Mason and Hamlin finds themselves in competition with only one other piano manufacturing company, Steinway in New York and they stand alone as the only two left, where at one time there was as many as 40 piano makers in Boston alone. Before the car industry, the piano industry was the largest industry in the United States. Kirk is quick to note that it's the dedication of Mason and Hamlin's talented craftsmen and women that's brought this high-end concert piano manufacturer back to life. And that's music to not only his ears, It's like a little cult following for Mason Hammond that we had never knew about. And getting uh, people uh, saying we really did a service uh, bringing the piano back. Back to one of the original founders for a second. It was actually Henry Mason's father, Lowell, who in the mid 1800s is credited for getting music classes being introduced and eventually taught in public schools all across the country. And it all started with Boston schools. I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB News Center 5.